Hello folks. So today I'm going after NGC 6914 and it's a, a very dense patch of clouds um, near the, the Sadr region. And I'm saying Sadr, I think I used to say Seder region, the star Seder, but I had a feeling I was probably saying that wrong so I looked up another YouTube video and they're saying Sadr. Like, okay, I'll go with that instead. But it's a really cool patch of sky it doesn't get as much um, attention as the Butterfly Nebula, which is close by, but maybe this one just needs a, a better nickname. Or it doesn't even have a nickname, but it's really cool. And I wanted to tell you, I got off to a really weird start with this project, because if you saw my Pelican Nebula, um, you would have seen that uh, the last thing I did for that nebula was I switched filters from HA to Sulfur in the middle of the night. Well... I forgot I did that. So I was thinking I still had HA in the telescope when I started this project. So I captured the first four hours thinking it was HA. And the weird thing about it is this time the sulfur was just strong enough where it could fool me into thinking it really was HA. And after four hours of data, it wasn't quite as strong as I thought it should be. So I went another day on it. And finally, when it was time to switch filters, I was going to get my sulfur filter, and it said HA. And I'm thinking, how could this be HA when HA is in here? I'm having one of those Twilight Zone moments. I know I put HA in here. And then finally, I remembered, oh, jeez, I switched filters in the middle of the night. Completely forgot. So now uh, I probably would have quit after four hours had I known this was sulfur. Uh, so, I, I'm going to go big on this project when I probably didn't need to. So anyway, and I've got other things to talk about. I, this is really my first bad ex experience with this setup, and I'm going to tell you what's going on that I still haven't figured out. So, okay, I'm going to go inside now. Okay, so I am imaging. Here are both of my rigs, and today's video is for the one on the left, my Rasa and it is hazy out there for the first time in in a while i've had clear skies five or six nights in a row but the haze is here now and i can tell <clears throat> because um uh, i'm imaging in sequence generator pro and my adu for a one minute exposure is more than double than what i was seeing the night before at 2283 and yesterday, here's an here's a, um, an oxygen sample, and um, you can see the ADU is uh, the mean readout is 915. So it's more than double as bright as it was yesterday. So I don't know if this data tonight is going to be any good unless it clears up fast. So hmm. Now, um, <clears throat> I already have, I think, over six hours of sulfur data and over eight, six hours of HA. But I wanted to talk to you about a problem I am having right now. and it seems I cannot find focus anymore and I, I'm, I'm baffled. Um, I, I don't get it. Um, here, here is, now I, I started off on this project in focus and then gradually things just started getting worse and I don't know why. Now here's a, an example of sulfur. Um, you can see a little bit of data there going on there which looks pretty good. And let me just fit the screen here. Now, here's sulfur when the HFR was down in the 1.4 or 1.5 range. And ever since then, um, on that first night, it started getting gradually worse. And I've never been able to get it back since then. I, I don't know what happened. Um, so look at, so this, is, this is a good focus right here. And let me blow this up to 100%. Now, this is my sulfur data towards the end. I think this is on the second night, actually. 
where the HFR is now over 2.0. And um, let's blow this up to 100%. Now look at the difference here. Now I'm still in Sequence Generator Pro and, and look at, okay, now I don't even have to overlay them. You could just see right away. Um, right, okay, so look at um, this um, patch of stars here where the, the HFR is is over 2.0 and look at on this other one where the HFR is much lower. It's, things are much more pinpoint. Can you see that? I don't know what's going on. How come I can't get the HFR low anymore? I've tried to refocus. I've tried to... I, I, I don't understand it. So, But let me show you the things I've investigated, why I can no longer... Um, as to why I can't get a, a good focus right now. Um, here's the things I've looked into. Uh, is the corrector plate fogging up? I've checked that, and the answer is no. And, and it, if something is fogging up, that's a different issue. Um, your whole picture is just disappearing on you. I've seen what happened when my uh, dew heaters lost their power on my refractor, and the, the, you just lose the everything. <laughs> it just you can tell when it's fogged up. It's a different different issue. So the corrector plate is not fogging up. I have a Celestron focus motor attached now, and um, is that causing the issue? And I removed the focus motor and tried to adjust the focus manually. I still can't get the focus below two, so it wasn't the focus motor, and I put that back on. So, um, is it bad guiding? Uh, guiding, um, there's a dither right now. When guiding is bad, I've still seen pinpoint stars, and I've seen guiding good. It doesn't seem good right now. Um, but even when guiding was good, the, the stars weren't coming up pinpoint. I and mean, if guiding is bad, you're usually going to see the stars kind of elongated. So I'm not blaming this on guiding. Although guiding is not very good right now, and I don't know why. I've been struggling with guiding lately, too. Maybe i got to rebalance my scope. Um... So I don't think it's guiding, because the stars still look round to me. Do they look elongated to you? They, they look round to me. It says I'm viewing this at 100%. I mean, that's it could be guiding. Is it the primary mirror is not ambient temperature? Well, this is an outdoor scope. Um, so it's always at ambient temperature. And I even tried the fan and there's, I didn't see, um, I didn't see any difference when I had the fan going. Um, and that, that was yesterday was the first time I ever tried the fan. That didn't make a difference. And so I, I, I kind of ruling out that it's the scope unless there's something else that I'm not thinking of. And could it be the camera? I don't know, but right now I can't get down to minus 20 because um, uh, these are definitely the warmest days I've been using my Rasa in. So could it be that I'm now imaging in the warmest weather and this is what happens? Is that a possibility? Um, but you can, it, it, I'm, I'm, I'm baffled because I've had this problem four, four days in a row now. But if you look at this, um, this is zoomed in 100%. If I fit it to screen, can you even notice that they're out of focus here? I think the data is still usable and I'm still gonna be able to work with it.
folks. So today I'm going after a very dense part of something. Hello folks. So today I'm going after NGC. Hello folks. So today I'm going after NGC 96. Rick could fool me into thinking it really was HA. So I stacked it. Rick could fool me into thinking it really was HA. So I stacked it. 